Welcome everyone. This is Crown with Glory Reborn and I want to do a special video today about what women want and there's a hint, not beta males. <laughs> All right, big surprise. We don't want beta males, okay? So, um, you know, we're going to talk about what are beta males, what are alpha males and why women want alpha males and how to recognize an authentic alpha male. So I'll have those subtopics timestamp down below. If you want to skip ahead, you can. And let me first say uh, before we get into this that I want to give credit uh, to a lady who has written an article titled The Way of the Alpha Male. She's got a lot of really good resources. I'm going to put the link down below along with a couple others I'm going to mention in here. But she's got this great uh, blog at GoAskSusie.com and she talks about, you know, this whole issue of alpha versus beta males. So let me sum it up for you, okay, for those of you who are not into reading, right? That's why you're on YouTube. <laughs> beta males are men who tend to be very passive. You know, it's okay if you fall down occasionally, but do you get back up? A passive man is not. He's just going to play possum, play dead, you know, play weak. So a beta male is an immature male, someone who is passive, they lack emotional control, and they exhibit low status behaviors. Now, when I say low status behaviors, I'm not talking about socioeconomics, right? I'm not talking about how much money you earn or what social class you belong to, all right? I'm talking about men who use lies and deceit and manipulation to get their way. This often results from a failure to grow up and mature emotionally and a lot of men who are betas what they do is evade and avoid responsibility their reasoning skills are stuck in a state of extended adolescence a lot of them never really matured beyond that point their mindset is more a victimhood than mastery they are more victims than students of life and they really lack the desire to correct any shortcomings which is required for maturity and growth and then what they do is they rationalize this with blaming and excusing beta males are seekers of pleasure at any cost even if it is at the cost of meaningful relationships, they will pursue meaningless things at the expense of meaningful relationships because pleasure is their number one priority. What's very dangerous about them is sometimes they can fake alpha status with material possessions like homes, cars, and we're going to talk about that at the end about how to spot the fake alphas, but definitely a danger. And then when their beta male ways don't work for them, they'll blame a woman and play weak. Oh, that woman, the woman is the one, right? Like um, <laughs> Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, you know, um, that woman gave me that apple, right? They don't take responsibility for eating the apple. They're going to blame somebody else. This is something that we want to avoid, right? What we want instead are the exact opposite, alpha males. What is an alpha male? Well, an alpha male is a man who is going to be calm and stable in his presence, in his countenance. Whoever he's around, he's going to exude that. He's going to set the spiritual temperature, the atmosphere, and bring calm and stability to that situation or to that person. 
He also demonstrates emotional mastery, and he does so consistently. And finally, the masculine power he uses is mature. He uses his power in a mature way. This is the result of someone who has made a decision to become the master of their own life and their own destiny. Regardless of other people's choices, they've decided they're going to use their own personal power to rise above. An alpha male is somebody who evaluates and practices self-awareness on a regular basis versus a beta male who would be self-critical, self-judgmental. That's the mindset. He is always looking at ways to step up his alpha status, his power, uh, rather than put himself down and blame others, you know, for why he's in a disempowered position. If a woman comes and talks to an alpha male, they're really going to evaluate and assess the situation, whereas a beta male will push back and cry victim with, with phrases like, you're trying to change me, you'll never be happy, right? This is insecurity, this is what can't be done versus what can be done. Alpha males are in tune with reality and what's right and they're willing to do what's right even when that's not going to be easy. They're wanting to create win-win situations, outcomes in relationships because they have the self-awareness to know that when other people lose at their expense, then they are ultimately at a loss. They're also committed to self-mastery through thoughtful action. Action's key. <laughs> Why women want an alpha? I mean, really, do I need to explain this? Um, <laughs> I think it should be obvious, but you know, for the men watching and even some of the women just to understand what is driving us to want the alpha. I mean, to such an extreme that we would rather have a bad boy because he can assert himself than a good guy who's passive, right? Um, what drives women to want this? It's our desires. Women want love and affection. We want status and security. And when I say status and security, no, I'm not talking about being a gold digger. I'm talking about having a man that is useful as opposed to useless. Big difference. And finally, also, we want a man who demonstrates self-mastery. So men who consistently display alpha male traits are very rare and highly valued. Need I explain why? If a man is caught faking alpha status, women will lose respect. And I see this a lot. And the line of work that I do, and I've seen it in my own life, where a man presents himself as having it together, being mature, being responsible, and then once you get more deeply involved with him and you start really looking at what's going on with his career, his finances, his more intimate relationships with family and close friends, then you begin seeing uh, a totally different story. Um, and it could be something as simple as engaging with this man on a day-to-day -day basis. A whole nother picture emerges that this guy has lied, has deceived, it has manipulated. And, you know, when that comes out, women begin to lose respect. And even if they're not outright lying or manipulating, let's say they're backtracking, they started in the relationship saying they wanted a commitment, that they're about commitment, but then they start, well, I don't know, you know, that kind of thing. And saying they want to settle down and have a family, but then as it progresses and a woman really puts her heart into it, well, I'm not sure anymore, you know, when it comes down to actually sealing the deal, we begin losing respect for these men. And unfortunately, what happens when men get caught faking alpha status is that they just resort to the same 
beta male tactics that got them into trouble in the first place. And this is really just going to make matters worse. If you're a male watching this and this is you, um, you know, the only solution here is that you're going to have to alpha up. There's no way around it. Resorting to beta male tactics is going to keep you in this looping cycle of disappointment and frustration. And, you know, another piece of advice I would like to give for any men watching is that, you know, if you are aware that you have demonstrated some beta male tactics and you are decided that, you, well, I'm going to try to alpha up, at the same time, embrace wise women who are just trying to edify your life. They're trying to support you in becoming a better man, becoming the best version of you that you can become. And this is so that you can live a better life and she can live that life with you. This is not about women who are trying to tear you down or make you feel incompetent or insecure. This is about women who are trying to build you up and add to your life value and meaning. You know, recently I was um, influenced by a video put out by Jordan Peterson who resonates with a lot of men. I think over 80% of his audience are male. And so I've actually personally enjoyed a lot of his content. He's got a great video out titled the meaning of life for men and I'm going to put a link down below if you want to watch it and in this video he talks about how women know what they have to do right we bear children most of us biologically are designed to bear children and so it's built into our DNA knowing that we have to be responsible that's in our awareness inherently However, Jordan Peterson was saying this is not the case for men. He said women know what they have to do. Men have to figure out what they have to do. And if you're a man who's put off by a woman who knows something that you're figuring out, that is insecurity. That's beta male tactics because an alpha male will totally seize an opportunity to better his life through the self-evaluation, self-awareness. Where am I at now and where do I want to go? Another video I was recently influenced by that I want to share with you is from Teal Swan. And it's titled, What Every Man Needs to Know About Women. And in this video, she explains how a lot of times men miss the mark with women because their life experience is very different from, from ours. She explains, for example, the experience of us walking across a parking lot, something that simple, is very different on a biological, physiological level. Right. Think about it. If you're a woman, what do you do before you are going to leave a store and walk out to the parking lot to get into your car. Well, before you leave that store, you're going to get your keys ready. And when you walk across that parking lot with your key in hand, you are looking around, you are observing so that if anybody tries to attack you, you're ready for it. And this is because of our life experience. Men don't have to worry about this stuff. I've always got my hand on that button on my key to set up a panic alarm if somebody attacks me. Is this something that men typically think about when walking through parking lots? No. And the reason why is because their life experience is very much different than ours. And that is why security is very important to us. And I don't think that um, that's well understood by a lot of men. It's often misunderstood that we're insecure, that um, gold diggers, you know, uh, things like that, okay? But again, if you're a woman, you would understand why our level of consciousness is at a totally different playing field. Um, not to say that one is higher or lower, 
but our experience of life is much different and different and this translates in so many more areas of life as she explains in this video it translates into you know what it is that we desire and how we get our desires met in relationships uh, that I think a lot of times men don't get and um, I love how at the end of that video she was saying that if a man wants the key to anyone's any woman's heart um, he's going to have to take her needs as his own not what he thinks she should need but really tune into her and what she needs on an emotional level and take those needs as his own and so this is something that an alpha male would do okay how to recognize authentic alphas first off with the communication this is someone who's going to be decisive and direct about their desires they're not demanding they don't get into guilt tripping uh, or second guessing uh, this is also somebody who is willing to apologize when it's appropriate and their apologies are not just in word but also in deed versus somebody who's merely begging right begging for mercy or appealing to you on an emotional level without the action to back it up also a real alpha male is going to be very transparent about his intentions and his motives whereas a beta is going to have hidden agendas he's always going to leave you feeling unsure about where you stand what is going on here where is this going also alpha males will commit rather than just make promises because they're truly dedicated to the cause of whatever they're committing to they're not going to placate you with false appearances they're gonna listen to you and not just hear this is also somebody who's gonna really tune in to what your needs are what your desires are your feelings really try to harmonize on an emotional level with you because they seek to understand you as opposed to being understood making themselves understood by others um, without really taking any kind of meaningful action an alpha male is also uh, compassionate honest in the way that they communicate and this is not to say that they don't ever get angry i mean i would be concerned if a man never gets angry that's kind of a not healthy anger is a healthy emotion when rightly placed and rightly used so I think the main thing is if you do see anger it's not being used to manipulate or control or attack or threaten other people also their boundaries are very clear their yes means yes and their no means no yet at the same time they can allow other people to win at times and that's okay they're okay with it they can allow you to win they can also accept losses and also when they lose they can accept responsibility for their losses okay in the bedroom <laughs> the good stuff right okay so um, an alpha male again is going to demonstrate the attunement that I've been speaking of okay um, he's going to attune to the woman's desires it's not going to be like okay here I am take care of me right I think we've all met those kind <laughs> by now <laughs> right um, this is somebody that is really going to tune in with the woman's desires and is going to be um, able to understand subtle nuances like uh, clues that she's getting bored versus aroused okay he's tuning into her beta male is not going to do this all right um, they really embrace romance they will take their time with foreplay and afterplay yeah let's not forget that <laughs> um, because they're savoring right savoring the moment as opposed to just trying to get theirs and get on with it all right um, they're givers in the bedroom right and they're receivers yeah it goes both ways right but the the main point here is it doesn't go one way 
<laughs> that's what I'm trying to say here, okay? And they don't rush things. They don't rush. They take their time and they don't resent uh, that they are, they're investing their time into this person, this relationship, because they're wanting the woman, not just the sex, whereas a beta male is about the sex, not the woman. In a nutshell, beta males exploit rather than expand upon the resources of a woman. And when I say resources, I'm not just talking about money, though yes, it can include that. I'm also talking about time, energy, emotions. So if you're sitting here still wondering whether or not you've been involved with a beta male or you are involved with a beta male, or if you are a beta male, <laughs> I think the main question you gotta ask yourself is this person bringing expansion or contraction into your world? Are they adding to or taking away value in your life? And the answer to that question is really gonna reveal whether or not you're dealing with a beta male. And if you are, yeah, you might wanna check out the resources that I'm gonna have linked down below along with um, watching this last video you can click on to see if you've gotten yourself involved with somebody so emotionally unavailable because I've put some videos about that as well and there is some overlap here I gotta say so if you're interested in that click on the video for emotionally unavailable men thanks for watching wishing you guys all the best healthy relationships yay alpha males <laughs> all right be blessed